Project Gorgon. This game is amazing. And uh, I am going to try to learn to use my new fire skill. Let's try toe-to-toe -to -toe with an actual fire wizard. I doubt I'm going to be doing too good. So I have to use my backup bows and arrows because uh, he already, he probably has an extreme fire magic uh, resistance. Let's see what this guy's resistance is like. Yeah. Okay, this guy seems to be getting hurt pretty badly with it. To level up on a skill, you really want to only use it, nothing but it. Cool, there's a blue magic thing on here. I knew that because... Uh, there was a little blue firework that came out of the corpse. So I just learned fire and I need to level it up. To level up fire, you need to get to level 10 from five or whatever level I am, I need to get to level five and then need to get to level 10. And then I need to go back to town and buy those skills. Most skills aren't like that. But powerful ones, like fire magic, are. And uh, I, I loot everything. I've seen some people don't loot everything. Well, you don't get rich by not looting. I loot everything. And I easily made 9,000 gold coins. And then I bought some really nice armor. Actually, I used to have about 12,000 gold coins. I bought some... The best armor I could find for sale. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good armor. But I'm such a low level that you don't want to spend too much. Like if someone's selling armor for 5,000 gold, you're going to level up and it's going to be obsolete. So there's no point. You're going to get better armor off monsters for free. But I went to the, uh, the little... Uh, player marketplace and I saw a cheap breastplate and cheap boots and a cheap amulet that perfectly suited me got them for maybe a thousand gold for all three of them pretty good deal the veteran players tend to want to rip off the poor players and they'll list like a yellow item for like 10,000 gold. When no one level one has 10,000 gold, so it's just a huge waste. But I'm leveling up. Okay, this game is amazing, all right? You can't tell from basic gameplay, but, oh crap, some dude just spawned right next to me. Fire magic's pretty cool, but it requires a staff. And I wish I could have a sword in a staff, kind of like Gandalf. But you can't have a sword in a staff for this game. Because it just doesn't allow you to. It's too bad. So I'm going to go into the crypt. It's the second lowest dungeon. 
perfectly suited for a newbie that has grinded for a day or two. I wonder who would win if I just used ma fire magic. My fire magic versus his. I wonder who would win. It looks like he would totally win. But I want to use my fire magic because even if I kill him with... Uh, an arrow, mainly, it doesn't mean that I won't level up in fire magic. So, uh, you always want to fight with two different skills. I'm really trying to level up both of them. Level 50 currently is the highest on skills. But it has been rumored that if they sold this game for money, they would not wipe, hopefully. I hope I don't play this game for six months and then they wipe. The owner supposedly doesn't want to wipe, and that would be the smart way to go. Because uh, I would be so bummed, I would possibly not want to play if I just got wiped after such a long time. Dang it. Looks like I drew two archers at me. But I'm such a good archer, I can kick their butts. Okay, there's a blue magic item on that guy. Yep, fire's not cutting it with this guy. I need to take this guy out with bow and arrow. Well, okay. So I can't really see my uh, fire increasing, but it is. It is increasing. So uh, fire wizards are kind of tough, so I'm going to raise my health but go to projectgorgon.com download this game and play it the mechanics are amazing the graphics aren't the best but they're placeholders the owner wants to make this game the best it can be and it already is a million times more fun than other games out there Shroud of the Avatar. I pledged tons of money to Shroud of the Avatar. I pledged zero dollars to this game. Guess which game is more fun? This game. The free one is more fun. I'm just being blunt. I'm just being honest. As an honest game reviewer, this game is the funnest fantasy MMORPG out there right now to me, in my opinion. It's a million times more fun than Guild Wars 2. To me, it's a million times more fun than Star Wars The Old Republic. To me, it's a million times more fun than some old Ultima Online shard. To me, it's a million times more fun than Shroud of the Avatar. To me, and it's a million times more fun than... Uh, Th this game is the Ultima 7, Ultima 8, Elder Scrolls, single-player game style game. This game is more Ultima 7 than Shroud of the Avatar, I'll tell you that. This game is more Elder Scrolls than Elder Scrolls Online, I'll tell you that. Because the NPCs interact in a very complex manner. You have to gain the favor of every NPC that uh, you can talk with that and uh, very much a system extremely complicated 
like the system in Ultima 7, Ultima 8, and the Elder Scrolls series such as Skyrim. This is the most Skyrim style game I've ever played online. More Skyrim style than Elder Scrolls Online. I played Elder Scrolls Online for a couple months. It's a World of Warcraft reskin clone. It's it's a Guild Wars 2 reskin, reskin clone. Uh, I wish it wasn't, but it is. There are so many World of Warcraft and Guild Wars just rip off pieces of garbage. There are so many that it's just depressing, you know? It's quite frankly depressing. So I'm gonna take out the wimpier guy. Yikes. I need to focus on arrows on this guy because arrows are going to be this guy's weakness. Okay. So it's going pretty good. I was going to go to the newbie island to train my fire ability, but you know what? This place isn't too tough. I pick up everything and take everything. Even these urns over here. The urns have ashes and they're valuable in necromancy. I was thinking about training in necromancy. Necromancy, you can raise a couple skeletons to fight with you. Very cool skill. For that alone, I'm probably gonna do it. And I won't have to make a new character. That's the beauty of this game. With one single character, you can master any and every skill. It's pretty amazing. One thing I don't like about this game are the giant squares. See how that guy is in a giant square? A skeleton? Every item in the game, almost is put in a giant square. Now that it's obviously a placeholder, but I just don't like it. So while I love this game, there are things that really annoy me about it, such as superficially that. Jeez Louise, dude. This guy needs to be taken out. Well, he's too tough. He's kicking my butt too hard. So uh, I'm gonna try to evacuate. Man. When you're tag teamed after having fought a battle against a guy, you're in combat with skeleton archer. Well, and a freaking wizard, not just that skeleton archer. Jeez Louise. So yeah, spawns can happen and you can easily get your butt kicked. Now this looks like a general generic graveyard in a game. Like Diablo, for example, but it's not. This game is amazing. It has a uh, open world Asheron's Call feel to it. It has an open world, kind of like uh, Silk Road Online, super huge and open, but better than that game because the features, the mechanics, the things you can't see with your eyeballs are amazing. Okay, let's take out this stupid skeleton archer. Uh, I don't know why it's not allowing me to shoot him. Okay, there we go. He was hiding behind that thing, so I physically had to move. A lot of games are too lazy, and you can shoot through objects. So it appears you can hide behind objects, which is a good thing. This is some type of shrine which you if you pledge some type of 
if you uh, sacrifice something, it'll give you something. There's a lot, a lot of Easter eggs throughout the entire game. Very amazing, cool things going on. Okay. Just attack first, because they are going to attack. I don't know why an archer would want to run up to me. Uh, he's not a very smart archer. I thought this was a scroll, but nope. There are random scrolls all over the place, though, so... So if, when you get an urn, you get some, uh, some, like, grave dust or something. Useful in necromancy. But I am going to the dungeon. There are a good number of treasures and chests in there. Uh, the server is rebooting in two minutes. Well, you know what? I want to get into the crypt before that happens. The video will end, obviously, in less than two minutes. Because when the admin says so, it is the case. But, uh, this is the crypt. It's a very cool dungeon. Yes, the walls look super generic. I turned down the sound effects. Usually it's a lot different than this. For safety reasons, maybe I shouldn't uh, be here because I will just spawn in the middle of a bunch of spiders. But let's take these guys out. With a sword, I can destroy these guys, but I'm not as powerful. With fire magic and an arrow. Okay, I think this is a fire spider. So he's pretty immune to that attack. Yeah, he, he gets hurt with the arrow pretty badly, but... The other attack, not so much. Finally. Okay. See, there's a chest down there that, uh... Refreshes. Ah, okay. Well, I thank you for watching, but please check out Project Gorgon. It's an amazing game. There's treasure chests all over the place. They refresh in 3,000 minutes. Very much like Ashran's Call. The NPC dynamic, very much like Ultima 7, Ultima 8, Skyrim, the single player, the single player Elder Scrolls games. The graphics are dated and limited, but know this. The guy who created this game is a master programmer. Created the most sophisticated NPCs I've ever seen in an online game. It's the best free PvE-oriented MMORPG out there today, and it's free. I can't believe it's free, to be honest. I can't imagine. I, I don't know why. Obviously, getting the word out and the name Gorgon isn't exactly the best name in the world. I would personally rename it, but I give props to it and stick with the name if you want it to, to be that name. So be it. Any name by any other name, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. All I can say is this. Please go to projectgorgon.com. Check it out amazing game it's for player versus environment player versus npc type combat and there are bosses and you do need groups of people to help you defeat those bosses but you can get to level 50 in every skill and become a super player and destroy and annihilate probably most bosses but there's constantly new patches new areas being opened up the Kickstarter did raise $74,000. Probably without that Kickstarter, this game wouldn't be here today. 
I wouldn't be making videos on this game if it wasn't this amazing. Put the graphics aside, see the game for what it is. Extremely awesome skills and game mechanics that are totally open. You can do whatever you want. You could be a farmer forever if you want. You can be a fisherman forever if you want. You can be a cow. Uh, you can transform in, into different animals using different skills and different abilities and different curses. This universe is extremely awesome. It's worth investing your time into. ProjectGorgon.com. Check it out. I thank you for listening. This has been John Rasmus with Rasmus Gaming. Be seeing you.